Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> this is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's 4 2 16 8 22 a.m. and that's Pacific Standard Time. I had a dream last night that I want to share. It was a warning dream with a message. In my dream last night, <clears throat> I was in a, a makeshift bunker. I remember there was dirt around me, kind of like you'd see in a war where they, the soldiers would, uh, would get in a, a foxhole kind of thing. I remember dirt being around us. And it's me and my friend and we're hiding because uh, all hell is broke loose out in the world and so we're sitting in this makeshift bunker. And then all of a sudden this, this man in a suit jumps in the bunker with us and these, these rocks are being thrown at him. And I'm thinking, why are you bringing the danger to us? You know what I mean? Like, now you've put us in danger. And, and it, they were throwing these rocks and throwing these rocks. And I'm like, why do they hate you so much? And he didn't answer me. And I said, who are you? And he said, I'm Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. And, and it just rung through my head over and over. And I woke up and... I prayed and I knew it was a warning dream from the Lord and I was trying to you know in my my mind to think well who's Teddy Roosevelt you know I know you know it, it was just not making sense and so I said Lord Jesus if, if this is you it was about two something a.m. if this is you then continue this dream and give me more detail and, and I will uh, share the dream and uh, it was about 3 a.m. I woke up from the same dream. It did continue. In, in, the, in the second part of the dream, they are now throwing larger rocks at him. And he keeps saying this, I'm Teddy Roosevelt, and I'm Teddy Roosevelt. And my friend next to me, he's not saying anything. He's just witnessing everything. And the people are getting closer and closer, and the rocks are getting larger and larger. And that was the end of the dream. I remember people were running everywhere in panic. And so uh, I woke up this morning and, and I did what I always do. I pulled up everything I could on uh, Theodore Roosevelt. I guess he went by Teddy. He, uh, I'm going to put a link in here so people can read this. Remember, I've always said from the beginning uh, of this channel that I'm not a big historian. But whenever I've had dreams of particular people that are named, it's it's always been significant. Uh, I, I wasn't good in history or geography, my two worst uh, subjects, and I apologize for that. I was uh, I, I excelled at other things, but history was not one of them. So I know nothing about this man. I'm actually going to call my dad uh, later, and he will. You know, he he will know stuff about him. I understand that. Uh, I think it was his wife and his sister both died in the same day. He went to Harvard. Uh, he, he was a, a leader in the Navy in, in a major war. And just I'll put all of this information in here uh, so other people can glean from this and possibly uh, come forward with uh, more stuff. Uh, this is the part that... Uh, that I saw was following the assassination of President McKinley in September 1901 Roosevelt at age 42 succeeded to the office and so it's it's ambiguous and vague but what I want to what I want to ask others is did did uh, did this president uh, Teddy Roosevelt take over the office uh, because of a, an assassination because that's a part of this warning and there's so many other things that goes on to say he began the construction of the Panama Canal. I found this interesting. He won the, the, the Nobel Peace Prize in 1906. 
um, uh, there's just there's a lot of uh, he, he went to Africa and Europe uh, and he was uh, he was elected governor of New York just some of the things I've read this morning and I keep seeing these ties to our current election and our current president I researched uh, actually where he was buried because I was researching FDR Franklin Delano Roosevelt I just can't find a lot of information on this <clears throat> so I want to show you the area and this area is an area I've been shown uh, on here through through uh, Google Earth and, and Google Maps for four years now so this is the area where he was buried and he was governor of New York it's weird that it says Amityville I mean certain things they always just stick out to me and I name them first thing I think of when I hear Amityville is horror and that's real so I, after praying on all of this information the Lord he spoke a word and I suddenly just had a knowledge of it it wasn't all audible I just heard it and the word was orchestrated <clears throat> and so I look up the word orchestrated and uh, it says arrange or direct the elements of a situation to produce a desired effect especially surreptitiously so I looked up the word surreptitiously surreptitious surreptitious and it says kept secret especially because it would not be approved of secretive stealthy clandestine sneaky sly and what the uh, what the Lord is is revealing to me through the Holy Spirit here is that there is a, there is a secret planned assassination uh, against the president or one of the people running for president this plan is, is is in motion in this year of 2016 I'm gonna say it again it's either against the current president or one of the people running for president and I want to make sure to everybody that hears this video that I just share these warning dreams. I'm not involved in them. I'm not involved in any plan to hurt or harm anybody. I think it would be wise that others would take heed of this uh, and make whatever uh, changes they need to their security detail or whatever. This is a this is just me giving a disclaimer that I have no part of this plan. It's just a dream I had. Amen. And so when I asked the Lord, you know why is it you know that I'm shown this I really wanted to be sure that I was to make this video why is it that I'm being shown this Lord and this is uh, this is what the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit it said quote I would not have my people to be ignorant of plans of evil by principalities in high places everything is about to change warn my people and so I'm doing so because this was just a uh, this had just caused bedlam and panic and riots and this plan is being kept secret but it's already in motion and it will change everything now as for me as a Christian minister I'm looking for the return of Jesus Christ I must mention this and uh, and and that's when the, the tribulation starts and the Antichrist rises to power and it could just just happened just like that I believe this is a this is all a part of this Bible prophecy <clears throat> could this be the the mortal head wound spoken of of Revelation 13 or the, the 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 man lives which is the the beast lives could this be a way to stop or rig the elections I'll leave these links. I'll leave a link to this so you can kind of study, you know, and maybe glean some information and be in prayer over this. And also uh, remember the area of New York because I think that's uh, it's going to play a, a a big role in this. Perhaps it will, the attempt will even happen in New York. So as a watchman, I've done my job. I will be in prayer for you and all people 
Now, I believe that we should try to live with peace among each other. I believe that we should uh, be in prayer for each other. And uh, even our enemies, pray for our enemies. I believe that we should do what Jesus said we should do. He said, love others and pray for others. And so that is exactly what I will be doing today. I know these, uh, these, these warning dreams and these watchmen warnings come often, but you, please understand, I don't do it for people. I do it for God. So the blood is not on my hands. This is a job God gave me in 2011 that I do in obedience to him because I will stand before him one day and I fear God. Sure.